I need to sign a central midfielder that is going to replace Bissouma and become an absolute monster of a player. It's so difficult. I don't want to sell Basuma. Why has why has this happened? If you don't know the news, I'm not going to talk about it. But basically, I can't have him in my team. I can't. It, it, due to real life circumstances. So we are replacing him. I've got quite a few players here. But I had a few people saying I should look at Florian Verts, And I'm including him in this part just to explain something to you guys. Because... I can't sign someone like Verts. As you know, I'm trying to keep this career mode as realistic as possible, at least for the beginning few seasons. Of course, after five, six seasons, you have no idea what the club would do in real life in that period of time. But someone like Verts is never going to go to Arsenal. So again, I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, whilst I agree, he would be incredible. I mean, if I was doing just a fun career mode, I probably would consider signing him. But for this one, no. It's not going to happen. I'm sticking to players that we have been linked with in the last few seasons. So we've got Kessie. I don't believe that's that realistic either, really. We've got Bruno. We've got Ruben Neves. We've got Zakaria. There's a few other names there, but I'm, I'm just really struggling, really struggling to think of a replacement. I thought I was going to go for an under 20s player, uh, but it's just not... It's not possible if I want to keep this realistic and go with players that have been linked. So I will have to sign an under 20s somewhere else in a different position. I might not do it right away. But for now, I think I need to make a decision. I think the best choice is probably Bruno. He has been heavily linked with Arsenal. I think in second place, I guess, of most, most realistic would be Neves. I don't know who I want more. Uh, I'm not going to go with Kessie because I don't think that's going to happen. He is incredible in this game, by the way. His stats are crazy good. And actually, in Ultimate Team, I've got a Serie A team and he is the heart of that midfield. He does everything. And by the way, if you want to see some more content like Ultimate Team and Pro Clubs, don't forget to check out my Facebook. The link is down below. I post every night, every weekday at around 9pm. Extra content for you guys. I'm not going to go for Zakaria. I don't think he's what I'm looking for, to be honest. But I would say he's more realistic than Kessie. So we'll just narrow this down to three and I'm going to have to think about it whilst we make a new signing. And that is going to be Neto. I need another goalkeeper. I'm actually going to do something completely stupid. You guys are going to think I'm absolutely mental, but I'm going to swap Leno... <laughs> for Neto. Not for the money. Obviously, that would be stupid. If I was doing it for the money, I would sell Leno. But the, the reality is, is Leno, he's gone. And it's not going to be a case of signing a, a new goalkeeper for cheap and selling Leno for 30, 40 million, which is what would happen here. It's, it's not going to happen. So genuinely, I don't mind. I'm just going to do it. He's worth 24 million. I'm just going to go ahead, do a straight swap, take Leno. What? They don't want him. I've still got so many players I am trying to sell at the moment, and it's just not happening. I'm going to offer Cedric here and pay, let's say, four and a half million. Let's see if they're willing to take one of my bums. <laughs> I don't think Cedric is going to go here, though. No. They just want the money, so it's not going to happen. I will offer 6.5 million for Neto. And they want 8.5. That's fine. Non-negotiable. It's still a good price for an 82 rated goalkeeper. He is heavily or was heavily linked with Arsenal before we got Ramsdale. So as a backup, why not? I'm going to delegate those wages. I'm going to try 85 to 130 or 100 and 125. Let's see if he accepts it. Have I thought any more about these midfielders? No, I, I'm still really stuck here. I don't know what I want to do, guys. They're all quite similar players. Zakaria is definitely more physical. Neves is more of a playmaker. He's really good with his passing. And Bruno's kind of an all-rounder. And I feel like Neves is the, the right choice if I want to go further in the, the Champions League and things like that. But Bruno seems to be a little bit more realistic. Do you know what? I'm going to do an instant vote now in my Discord. This is, again, a shout out to the Discord. It's so much easier for me to do quick flash polls like this instead of waiting for an episode to go up. So 
while you're watching this video, please do join the Discord so you can take part in these votes. Well, excuse the ugly mug, but look at the voting. It is so close. They've got a few more minutes here to decide on who I'm going to sign. At the moment, Ruben Neves and Dennis Zakaria are so, so close. I think it's going to be Neves, isn't it? Oh my god, this is mental. Well, I can reveal, after five minutes of voting, Neves was the winner. It was close. It was between him and Zakaria. I'm surprised not more people were interested in Bruno. But do you know what? Ruben Neves is the correct choice, I think. 85 rated, 25 years old. He has so much experience at such a young age. I mean, he's going into his prime. My objectives this season are ridiculous. Win the Premier League title. Get to the final of the Champions League. I need every bit of help I can get. And I think Neves is the correct choice. So, here we go, guys. This is going to be the most expensive signing yet. It's going to be a lot. I'm guessing at least 70, 80 million. What I'm going to do is try and include some other players. I think the first player I want to try and include is Leno. He's worth 24 million, so we're going to have to at least put in 40 here, aren't we? I'll try 30 to start off with, and let's see what they say. No, it has been rejected. 82 million plus a 10% sell-on clause is what they are looking for. Okay. So we know they don't want a goalkeeper. Are they interested in Cedric? <laughs> it's never going to happen, is it? 70 million plus Cedric? Remove the sell-on clause. Go on, you need a right back. Nope, they're not interested in him either. Okay, into centre-backs now. We've got Holding. Uh, is it time for Holding to go? I'm going to try. I'm going to try Rob Holding plus 70. Actually, no. I reckon I can do better than that. 65. 65 plus Rob Holding. Okay. Rob Holding is the answer. They want a centre back. And whilst I like Rob Holding, I've got Saliba. I've got Salisu. They're both ahead of him and they're not even in the first team. Is he going to accept a contract to join Arsenal? I really hope so. Crucial first team player. Absolutely. Let's do that. Four-year deal, we will try a five-year deal, because why wouldn't you try? Okay, that's fine. We don't need a release clause. God, I almost pressed end negotiation there. I would have cried. He wants 105,000. Okay, to be fair, I'm quite happy to pay a little bit more if that can bring down the signing bonus and also get rid of the appearances bonus. So I'm going to offer him 110k, which is what he's on at the moment. And I'm just going to bring this down to three quarters of a million. Is this it? Will Ruben Neves play for Arsenal Football Club? Yes, he will. What a signing, guys. I wasn't expecting that. I'm not going to lie. I was not expecting this to happen in just season two. But it's not my fault, guys. I would have been happily playing Bissouma for the rest of this career mode. And this midfield three probably would never have changed. But we've been forced to. So Granite Xhaka will be dropped from the team here. And then, of course, where is he? There he is. Ruben Neves comes in. I mean, geez. He is actually an upgrade on Bissouma, technically. The only downside to Neves? Pace. But it's career mode. You don't necessarily need a lot of pace. So that's fine by me. Neves, welcome to the team. Balogun has been loaned out. El Nenny has been sold and Neto has accepted his contract offer. So that is now four signings brought in. Finally, I've been able to convert Xhaka to a central midfielder. So that is good. That has taken a whole year. How crazy is that? We've got a transfer offer here for Osia Tutu. We're going to go ahead and let him go. He's a decent enough player, but obviously not someone that we will be using in this career mode. Our first game of the season is Leeds, by the way. Oh, for God's sake, why are you making offers for players like Pepe? I don't want him to go. But they've offered me a player that I signed last year in last year's career mode. And that is Lima. He's actually a very good player, but uh, Pepe is not for sale. Rejected. Gone. Let's have a look at my games coming up. So we kick off with Leeds away. Then we've got Manchester United at home. And then we have Norwich away. So interesting games. I would say the Leeds game, we should win that. 
United already beat us this season in the Community Shield, so that's going to be a tough one. At least it's at the Emirates. And then Norwich away, we should definitely be winning that one. Really? Manchester United want Aubameyang now? No. It's just not happening. He's not Van Persie. It's not going to happen. And Ossia Tutu's transfer has broken down. No surprise. Don't worry, guys. They'll fix this for next year's game. They say it every year. It does my head in. Players just don't sell. And then you get offers for players that you haven't even got transfer listed. I don't want to sell Thomas Partey. Leave me alone. I've got about 10 players up for sale right now. And I'm not getting offers for pretty much any of them. It is doing my head in. And we've got a scout report for Verts. How good is he at the moment? 80 rated. Genuinely, I would convert him to a central midfielder. I reckon he would do so well. Similar to what Erdegaard does for us. Just on the left side of that midfield three. But of course, if you play like a 4-2-3-1, get him behind the striker. He will get you so many goals. And now, guys, the Premier League season begins. A tough trip to Ellen Road. Players like Rafinha, Phillips, of course, very good. But here come the Arsenal players, Martinelli. Oh, I need to give him the number, number 11. I think it's time to give players their new numbers. I completely forgot to do that. I want to give Ramsdale number one, Martinelli number 11. Um, I, I really would like to give Aniesri number 14, but I can't because Aubameyang's still here. I can't do that to him. Not just yet. So although that's unrealistic, ch the, the, num the numbers will change. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm just going to do it. It doesn't really matter, does it? But here we go. Leeds with a couple of new signings in there, I'm presuming. I haven't recognised any. I think Demir Bay was already there. Demir Bay, Demir Bay, however you say his name. Don't lose the first game of the season. Let's not do that. Of course, we have a debut for, if I can get him the ball, this man right here, Neves. Ball through already. Oh my God, no way. He almost got an assist with his first pass. <laughs> can you imagine that? And Yezri threw on goal, couldn't quite finish it. Here comes the corner from Bakayo Saka. Erdegaard's there, not really the guy you want on the end of a cross. Neves wins the header. Good start from him. Gabriel. Oh my God, that was a cross, I promise. I didn't shoot there. <laughs> that was just a bad cross. How long do you reckon it's going to be, guys, until Neves scores an absolute banger? It's all he does. When Neves scores, they are bangers. His passing range is outrageous as well. Look at that. Tomiyasu into Saka. Do you reckon I can get one now with Neves? Go on. Have a bang. Go on. <laughs> no, I don't. Especially not if he's off balance like that and facing the wrong way. It's never going to work, is it? I had to try it. I mean, as if I'm not going to try on his debut to try and score a, an absolute beauty. It was close, wasn't it? I bet some of you thought it was in. What a ball. Saka, oh my god. We're getting closer. And by the way, not on purpose, but Neves has been involved in every single attack when it hasn't been his shot. That pass there to Saka, it's just so good. Just a couple of seconds left here. I don't think we're going to get another attack. To be fair though, I have been a bit wasteful, haven't I? And greedy. I've been trying so hard to get Neves a goal, but... It's, it's not something I should be forcing. It'll just come naturally. How has the referee not blown the whistle yet? Hello? We're going into the 48th minute. What, what's going on here? If they score from this corner, I won't be happy. We should be good there. Okay, second half coming up. I will be less greedy. We have had a lot of chances. I think we will score. It's a matter of time now. Oh my god. No, he's offside. <laughs> that was one of the weirdest deflections I've ever seen. And of course, it was Neves who was offside to score the goal. They're bringing on Dan James, the pace monster. Okay, good start to the second half. Technically, we've scored. It just it wasn't a legal goal. So we go again. Oh, go on. This time. No way, Melia, you're too damn good. And Yezri should be scoring there. Corner coming in now from Saka. Go on. Ah, oh, I should be getting Neves on corners, shouldn't I? Erdegaard. Oh, Melier again. Look at this. Maitland Nars, who's just come on. Into Smith Rowe, who's just come on. Can he bury it? What? Why did it take two centuries to shoot? And it came off him as well. No, that is ridiculous. I pressed shoot so much earlier there. 
and now we're losing. And it's Mbolo. They just brought him on. This is unreal. I have had so many great chances in this game. And of course, they bang, bang in their first proper shot. I mean, it's crazy, isn't it? It is actually crazy. We're going to start off this season with a loss at this rate. After all of the chances, all of the saves that Melier made. It's crazy. Oh my God, what have I just done? Please recover that. Thank you, Gabrielle. That was my bad for sure. And I've done it again. <sighs> what is wrong with me? Yeah, I deserve to lose this. Oh, and it's Manchester United next as well. Oh my God. I want to see my expected goals in this game. I, I, I need to see it because I feel like I could have been 2 or 3-0 up and now I'm 2-0 down. It's incredible, isn't it? Okay, well, guys, what can I say? We've made some signings. I haven't won a game yet. <laughs> we've lost the Community Shield and we've lost the opening game of the season. AFTV, if you listen carefully, are outside the stadium doing interviews right now. Destroying me. <laughs> This MGH, get him out. My expected goals was 4.2, by the way. They had 1.1. Cool. That's cool. Really cool. I'm not salty. I'm not mad. We've got a Ferreira loan offer. I don't want a loan. I, I want you to buy him. Damn it. Okay. Rejected. I've got so many players that I need to get rid of. And I just can't seem to. I'm just not getting enough offers. Dortmund have come in for Aubameyang. That is perfect. That makes complete sense in my head. Why not? He's going to go back to one of the clubs that made him who he is today. I'm going to go ahead and accept that offer. And then Agnesri can take the number 14 shirt. And now we've got Manchester United. So, yeah, prepare to lose three games in a row, Matt. This should be fun. Are your boys ready for the game? <laughs> We're in excellent shape. Um, we'll play the game, not the occasion, I guess. I wanted to respond angrily there, but I'm not going to do that. Are you looking to sell players? What? I mean, why isn't there a yes, I'm looking to sell a few players option? And then why has the team been struggling? I have, to put, I have to take some of the blame. No, it's the goalkeepers, mate. It's the goalkeepers to blame. They're too damn good. I just have to hope that Ronaldo's injured or something, that Bruno's out. And I don't know if I've been lucky. No, Ronaldo is up front. Bruno is playing at Cam. Okay, is Sancho missing? It looks like Sancho is not in the lineup. That is a good thing. He scores every single time against me. In fact, he's probably been the best player to come up against me every time. He has been insane. Let's get Saka in here. Come on, early start. Go on. Oh, so you see what I mean? The goalkeepers are ridiculous in this game. He has to score there. No. No. I mean... I know Muller is an incredible finisher, but my God. If he hits that harder, I bet you Ramsdale saves it. It's because it wasn't powerful. The goalkeepers are weird in this game, I'm telling you. That should not be going in. Have you seen some of the saves that Ramsdale makes? Oh, man. This episode is going downhill. I need to recover this. Oh, Neves. Beautiful. Go on, Martinelli. Oh, he's had to take a touch, which has really slowed him down there. And Wabasaka is an absolute tank. So difficult to brush him off the ball. Saka into Tomiyasu. Is this the moment? No, it is not the moment for Super Tomiyasu. Unfortunately, that celebration is going to have to wait even more, guys. Well, I can't defend it. I can't. I can't do anything. He just finds those gaps. Bruno is insane. Absolutely insane. Let me see this replay and watch what happened to Ben White and Gabriel. Look at this. So Ben White was actually drawn over, drawn over to the side and then Gabriel just runs past him. What is Ramsdale's arms doing? Please show that replay again. I'm showing you guys. I'm showing you this. Why doesn't this happen when I shoot? Why don't the goalkeepers go crazy when I shoot and bend weirdly? What is that? Please, someone explain to me what that is. If his arm reaches out properly, 
Guess what? He saves it. He's actually got a little bit of a touch. Look at this. This is FIFA 22, guys. What is that? Oh, my God. I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose it. I cannot believe that's just happened to me. And he saves that. Of course he does. Good run from Martinelli. But crossing it in for Saka wasn't the idea. I wanted Inyesri to be there. You know, the six foot two striker that's really good at heading. That's who I was aiming for. I'm so salty right now, guys. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> it's just, it's ridiculous, isn't it? The amount of saves the keepers make against me. And then, to be fair, you know, Ramsdale has been incredible for me. But then in a, situ a situation like this where I desperately need Ramsdale to make a save for me to get a win, whatever. I don't know what to say, guys. I do not know what to say. 3-0 down, and it's about half-time, just before half-time. Just amazing. What can I say other than just get me out of this match right now? Look at that. It's just too easy. It is so easy. The, the fans should be leaving. Just leave. I don't, I don't even blame you. We should be giving you a refund. Okay, we're going three at the back. Saliba is coming in. I haven't used him yet. This might work a little bit better. It's damage limitation at this point. But maybe, do you know what? If I get a goal or two and make it 3-2, then this has been worth it. I, it's not the formation I want to use, but if it helps me against United today, I'm going to do it. Oh, hello. Up against Varane, though. With his 99 pace. Mason Greenwood is on now. Here he is. His first few touches of the ball. He's going to the corner flag. Are you legit trying to waste time, United? 3-0 up at the Emirates. What are you thinking? Could be four. <laughs> it could actually be four anytime soon. This change of system hasn't done anything. If anything, there's more gaps in behind my midfield. Oh, I don't know, guys. This one is obviously just a write-off, isn't it? Oh, go on. And Yezri. No. Couldn't quite get there. It's a bit better. But it still wasn't even a shot. Like, apparently that's better. Just getting through on goal is good in my book. Well done, Matt. You made it through. Oh, and Saliba's just been twisted by Muller. Oh, no. Ronaldo, 4-0. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Nothing happened there, guys. Wait, we lost 4-0. Oh, this match sim stuff is broken, man. <laughs> Aubameyang has been sold. Oh, man, that kind of sucks. It really does. I don't necessarily want it to happen, but I just think it needs to. And there he is, back with the black and yellows. And look at that. They've got um, Trippier as well. Oh, Chelsea are in the bottom three. Interesting. It's not just us struggling then, yeah? Okay, well, it's Norwich up next. If I lose against Norwich, then this season might as well just be cancelled. <laughs> We've got an offer for Cedric, which we're going to go ahead and accept, of course. He is no longer required. I think I used him maybe once last season. And then Enketia. I've already found a new striker, mate. Don't worry. You're still in my plans, Eddie. No worries. Um, it'll take some hard work, but you will play games. Maybe not right now. Now, Maitland-Niles, do I convert him to a right-back? I think my general feeling was that he is better as a right-back. So I might do that. I think I probably should. So we'll convert him to a right-back. I can still use him as a central midfielder. But uh, I, th I think I prefer him coming on for Tomiyasu or whatever. Or starting if I'm up against incredible wingers. I probably should have done it in the last game, to be fair. Let's do defensive wide back. Let's get that defensive work rate up a little bit. But uh, at least I've made a decision with Maitland-Niles now. So this is what it will look like on the bench now. We've got right back, left back, centre back. And obviously he can play central midfield along with Sambi. Then we've got Smithrow, Pepe and Lacazette. I am tempted just to start having Nketiah on the bench. If you compare him and Lacazette, you know, I mean, Lacazette is obviously still the better player. But in the future... It makes sense for Nketiah to get a bit more game time. Okay, Norwich. We've got to win this. First attack of the game. Here is Martinelli. 
Poke that one through for Enyesri. He's just not quite going to get there, is he? I'm trying my best to get Enyesri in those positions, but maybe that's not the best way to get him involved. I do feel like he's going to be great at holding up the play. Long shots, for sure. He's got a rocket of a left foot, which you saw against Man United in the Community Shield. But he is yet to score in the Premier League. That's going to change today. Okay, we have to get a couple of goals in this one. And hopefully, Enyesri will get one of them. Is Neves into Martinelli. Whip it in. And Yezri, and it's saved. I mean, he could have four or five goals for us right now, but th the keepers save everything that he does. But not that! Not that! He's done it again! That is what Yezri can do. Give him the ball, turn, get past the defender, and then just unleash an absolute rocket. I need to give him the number 14, though. He is the new number 14. Look at this. Oh, my God. Very similar to the last goal he scored, or the first goal that he scored for the club. Welcome, Agnesri, to the Premier League now. Two goals for him. Really good goals. Oh, he's got a lovely ball over the top there for Saka now. Go on. Oh, my God. Who is that? Jolis. Of course it is. I remember how rapid he was. Oh! No! No one saw that. Skip, skip, skip. No one saw that. Completely open goal. Nope, 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 nope. Erdegaard, I mean, uh, he just didn't want to score it. He felt bad, you know. Look at this. We're on another attack now. Nothing happened. And it's Yezri. Top right corner. Hey! Yezri gets his double. He truly has arrived. This Moroccan striker, guys. He's the future of this club up front. Absolute baller. And what a view of the stadium that is. <laughs> this metal bar. <laughs> Right, guys, that is good. 2-0 up, and no one saw the Erdegaard miss. That's great. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of fun with this guy. That was almost a hat trick. Unbelievable. Corner coming in. And it's going to be Martinelli. Oh, out to Ben White. Oh, okay. Okay, there's about 14 shirts in front of him. Oh, Erdegaard. <laughs> Excuse me. Hit the post. Oh, my God. No. He hit the side netting from there. I finessed it. Why did I finesse that? I should have just powered that into the top left corner near post. That would have been an amazing way to complete the hat trick before even half time. There goes the clean sheet. Why did I get a clean sheet objective again? Why? I can't get them. <laughs> That's why I got it. The game just knows. Like, oh, yeah, look. MGH is playing. Let's give him a clean sheets objective. Like, oh, man. Well, we've dominated this first half. He could have seven goals himself. Look at that. Five attempts. Okay, maybe not seven, but he's all over them. But somehow we're only one goal ahead now. Cool. No way. No way. It's 2 all. And of course, it's Jollis. It had to be. He's come back to haunt me. He was absolutely incredible in my Schalke career mode. And now he's just equalised. I think they've had maybe three shots in this game. To put that in perspective, I've had five, like you saw, with Yezri. <laughs> and Yezri's had more shots than Norwich have as a team. Crazy. Here goes Tierney. Still trying to get through here, but Aaron's, he's rapid, isn't he? If that goes in, I'm literally stopping recording now. This is crazy. Out of nowhere, Norwich have turned into prime Barcelona in 2009. It's, it's crazy. I can't do anything. Oh, my God. I'm just having the worst time on FIFA right now. I don't, I don't want to be playing. Look at this. Right. I, I know I keep doing this, and I know it's probably infuriating you guys to watch, but I, I need to see what is going on here because I feel like I'm not passing this incorrectly. Look at the accuracy I'm putting on that. Quite literally perfect. And he just heads it straight to the Norwich player. Like, what, what can I do then? The passing doesn't work. The goalkeepers make too many damn saves, and I can't win <laughs> because of it. Help me, game. Help me. They're going to get another goal here, aren't they? No, nope, this time Tommy picks it up. Nice. 
Oh, you're kidding me. Ah, oh, if it's not the goalkeeper, it's the freaking crossbar or the post. And Yezri denied his hat trick again. So close. So close. Tommy Yasu. It's coming, guys. I can feel it. Maybe in this game. If I put Tommy Yasu up front, will I win? Do you reckon? Will he just get the winner? Oh, can you imagine that? Against Norwich. Away from home. <laughs> World class result there. If they score here, guys. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's it's going to happen, isn't it? It's actually going to happen. I can't switch player. He's missed. <sighs> okay. Have I got time to get on one last attack? Potentially. It has to be now. Nope. Nope. I don't deserve a win. I, oh, man. Guys, this has been probably the worst recording session I've had in a while. Mm, okay. Three games, not a single win, including a game against Norwich. No disrespect, but we should be winning this comfortably. We need to figure something out here. And once again, I'm getting transfer offers for players that I don't even want to sell. Smith Rowe this time. No. It's not happening. And Martinelli says, I'm really sorry we didn't get the win today, but thanks for giving me a chance. The wins will come. They will. Guys, you know I'm going to turn this around. It's all good. But let's go ahead and uh, hope that we get a couple more offers coming in. Again, another player that I do not want to sell. Reese Nelson, blocked. I mean, look, guys, I'm going to show you my squad. Okay, let me just get to deadline day here. This is how big my squad is. Look how many players I've got. I've got... Leno up for sale, Renarsson, Ballard, Dominguez, Ossia Tutu, um, Cedric, Genduzi, Torreira, Smith, Otisawi, Bissouma, Ferreira and John Jules. All of those players are up for sale and I'm just not getting any offers in. I've got 10 hours left, so I better pray that in the next episode we get some of those offers coming in because we're just going to have such a big squad. And that's not what I want. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this episode. Absolutely awful, really. Um, we're going to be bottom of the league. Oh, my God. Holland, Haaland has gone to Real Madrid. Jeez. 200 million. Verne has gone to Leicester. And Laporte has gone to Barcelona. Incredible. Okay, right. Hopefully, a better episode next time. We're going to bounce back.